So when's the last time you backed up your PC? On this episode of Gadget, we're taking a look at GoodSync from Cyber Systems. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We are the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now let's get right to the tech. Backing up is one of those things that most of us don't want to do, even though we know we have to. I mean, especially in this day and age when we have so much of our information in digital format, on hard drives, on, on CDs, uh, located wherever it might be, we, we do need to back up. The, the problem has been that even if we're really good about it, even if we do make backups, even if we do copy our most vital information, synchronizing and updating and making sure that we've got the most recent copies of what we really need is not an easy task, especially nowadays when we have so much of our information on the cloud, in the cloud, you know, in email, FTP servers, uh, storage services, wherever they might be. We need a product that can easily take all of that, bring it together, and decide according to rules that we set down what needs to be backed up, where it needs to be put, and how often we need to have a fresh copy made. Well, we're taking a look at a piece of software today, and I know that's a little strange for us. We don't normally look at software, but this was sent to us by one of our friends over at Cyber Systems who, who thought that we might be able to use this as a, a nice way to, well, you know, take care of our own storage needs. And this is what we found. GoodSync Pro is a comprehensive software backup solution from Cyber Systems. It's designed to give users a single, easy-to-use interface with access to all your data, storage devices, and online resources. GoodSync can operate in one of two modes, synchronization or backup. In synchronization mode, GoodSync will update all selected files and file locations across multiple devices, computers, and storage areas. In case of a conflict where both directories have a version of the same file, GoodSync will use a series of rules to determine which file will win the right to be synchronized. In backup mode, GoodSync will copy all of the selected data to one or more storage devices. Using GoodSync within the default synchronization parameters is a simple four-step process. You start by choosing the file, directory, drive, or device that you want to back up. GoodSync has the ability to work with any storage device connected to the local computer, any storage resource it can access across the local network, as well as with storage resources in the cloud. This means that you can use FTP and secure FTP servers, as well as storage services like Amazon's S3 or WebDAV. The second step is to choose the storage that is to be synchronized or used as a backup device. You have all of the same options as in step one. You can use hard drives, flash drives, tape drives, network drives, as well as the same cloud options that you could choose in the first step. Clicking the Analyze button will tell GoodSync to scan the selected files, directories, or cloud devices to give you a visual representation of the file sizes, age, and the actions that GoodSync will take either to copy files to the left, to the right, or to leave them as is. The final step in the process is to click the Sync button and to let GoodSync copy the files. We tested GoodSync with everything from a few thousand small files to several multi-gigabyte video clips, and we recorded speeds between 11 and 36 megabytes per second. It seems that the speed of the synchronization process itself is only limited by the speed of your computer and the speed of the connection to the storage. For those who want a bit more control of the backup and synchronization process, GoodSync provides an abundance of tools and parameters that let you start GoodSync upon system startup, control log files, filter particular types of data out of the backup, and control a dozen or so more configuration options. However, it's important to note that you really don't have to do any of that. GoodSync has been designed to work with its default parameters for 99% of users just looking to backup their data. You can also create individual jobs or automated backup tasks. You can choose what is backed up, when GoodSync will try to do the job, and what parameters are to be followed when syncing files. We found this to be especially useful for those who run websites or online content repositories. 
Since GoodSync works just as well with the cloud as with local resources, it can be a great way to protect your online content. GoodSync Pro is available by download for $30. If you will be using GoodSync for personal use only, you can download a free version of the software, but it has limited numbers of files and job synchronizations, no free upgrades, and no phone support. Now there are better backup solutions out there. There are cheaper solutions out there. There are ways of backing up that don't require any software beyond what you already have on your computer. But you see, here's the thing. Backing up is really an individual activity. In other words, you need to find a solution that will work for you. You need to find a piece of software, a set of hardware, a process that will make you want to back up. And this might be well, your way of doing that. If uh, you've got the most advanced backup system, if you've got the most advanced backup hardware, if you've got network attached drives, if you've got storage services in the cloud, and yet you can't bring yourselves to, to easily set up the rules and the filters that you need in order to make sure that your data is protected, well, all of that comes to nothing. I think that GoodSync gives you one more possibility, and especially the fact that you can download it for free and try it out. And if you like it, if you want to use it for a larger set of data, if you want to use it for your enterprise, for your business, you can buy it for $30. And, and then you have a tool that is not only very easy to use, but just might convince you to make backups when you otherwise wouldn't. Now, you know, I, I don't want to endorse a specific product for backup because I think that backup is just one of those things that we need to do. But again, I want to stress that if you like what you saw, if you liked how easy it was for us to set up the good sync backup, if you, if you liked how easy it was for us to create jobs and to, to transfer data between our FTP servers and, uh, you know, uh, Amazon's S3, well, then you're going to want to take a look at good sync. It's available now. If you go to www.goodsync.com, you can download it, or for a little bit of extra money, you can ask for the media to be sent to you. Now, if you want to find out more about our impressions of GoodSync and how we used it, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, and please... Please keep those messages coming. We are way behind, but we promise to try to get to each and every single one of you in due time. Then you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balasare. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.